Hello there, it's me, Sari, and today I thought I'd show you the Canon printer called Selfie CP900. And I have started playing with it, printing out different kinds of shapes or sizes for these photos. This is a full-sized postcard, and here is a postcard divided in four, actually. So I have put some of my photos on a USB memory stick and what I'll start off with is going to the menu after it has um, <clears throat> come to this space but on the other hand now that I come to think of it, let's see I'm going to do the change settings and I'm going to go to page layout and I think I'll try to make it eight pictures in one, so they're going to be pretty tiny, as I must say. Let's see. Print all images. Okay, so now all of the eight are marked in a light blue hue. And then I'm going to print out one of each, and they're all going to fit on that one page. And if I press print, it's going to start immediately. And you need to leave some room for the photo to go back and forth, back and forth, four times. So first it's going to give it a yellow coat, then a pink coat, and then a blue coat. And then to finish things off, it's going to give it a protective, protective coat, actually. So in that way the photos is, photo is going to last a hundred years. And it has, it has got a waterproof surface as well. And the papers come in a package like this. You can choose to buy them um, either, I think it's 36 in each package, or in this case 108 sheets plus ink. And uh, the papers should be enough for 108. I'm not sure if it is going to last that long. This is my first set of photos I'm actually using. So I haven't printed out more than four, three or four pages all in all. So this is pretty new for me. But just have a look at this. Really nice looking, isn't it? With those animals from the animal park in Boros. That's nice. I really like that actually. So I could either make this into a full page on a scrapbook page or something or just cut them and make something smaller out of them. I think I'll go and play around with some more photos, perhaps make even smaller ones to see if I can make something nice out of them when I'm going to make an index sheet or so. Okay. This is how small the contact sheet gets, or, or the index sheet, actually. So here is the 8, but here is the index. I do believe that you could have something with 16 pictures as well, so you could have them double size, I suppose. But I'm thinking of using these in this fashion, perhaps. It could be fun. So I'm glad I cropped these pictures and actually I hope to be able to make them work so that's it bye bye hello there again I thought I'd give it another go with those index photos and I did make some of the color photos into black and white and they do make pretty good a fit actually there is a much white on the outside popping out, so well now it's busy. I have to wait a little. I've got 24 pictures here now, so I'm hoping I'll be able to change settings, page layout, and I'm going to go for the index, and then I'm going to go. I'm printing OK, and then I have to go back 
and choose all the images. Well, there is still room for more pictures, so 24 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's room for 31 pictures, I think. 23 here now, so it, is it, is it, there is one missing. There must be, it must be a format of that photo that it doesn't take. So I think I'll just go for those then. I'll have to... Let's see. So I'm getting the 23 and I'm going to print it. And it's asking me if I'm going to leave it with the blank spaces and I'm just going to put OK there. So now it's going to print it. So I'm thinking of making this one perhaps in white and perhaps drag on some ink. So in that case, even though there would be some something white showing, perhaps I could be able to hide it with the whiteness around the picture. And if I'm just dragging on some black ink, I'll be hoping I'm hoping to make it a little bit more grungy and worked up like that. So I must I'm pretty pleased with this one. So you see the yellow one comes first, then comes the pink. And then the blue. So everything but that one is black and white. And you know, I ought to have a look, see if these would actually fit in those Jim Holtz's photo. I'll have to look at, look, about, look at that and I'll come back. So I'm back here with the two die cut film strips from Tim Holtz. He's, this is the first one he came out with and this is the second one. And with this one you actually get a strip of tickets also so you can stamp your ticket sentiments there. So what I did uh, was try to make a collage printout. Let's see what it's called change settings it's called shuffle actually and you can choose how many photos you want on top how many ones you want there and you can choose between the tops 20 or 8 images and with this one it comes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so since i had 24 pay photos i think it went to 12 sort of uh, I can only choose between 8 and 20, but still made 12 on that one and 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 11, and 11 on that one. The only drawback with that one is, of course, that it went the wrong way, but I mean, I think it's pretty funky. So it's nice you can make your own layouts or collage layouts, really. So when it comes to trying out if this one suits any of the sizes, well, I'm sure, depending on how uh, big you have cut the photo, you could use that one perhaps, or you ha actually better go for that size. So, as I realized, this size here isn't a size you can choose in this um, gallery, sort of, but you can get it out here in a couple of them. So, of course, it's going to be pretty expensive for you trying to figure out how many you're going to get here and there. But I think that it could be nice to actually make it work. And the distance isn't the greatest when it comes to this, because there's a smaller space in between the photos. And you can't really make it work, so you need to put just one photo there. So you need to choose the one you like the best. And as for the smallest, I don't think I can make it work any other way than just put it there and perhaps put it over that picture there. So that one actually fits rather nicely. I'm thinking about that one there. So it could be a nice tip for you to just use these. So now I've actually gone through both the index and the shuffle and the eight and the four and the one. So the, see there's quite a lot of varieties here and I'm sure if you would have prepped your pictures in the computer before you went to this, before you saved them on this USB memory stick, then perhaps you could do even more. What I forgot to show you is of course the uh, half-sized picture 
So just imagine this one being half the size. Instead of four here, it could be a two. So that's what I missed out. But I do hope that you can figure that one out for yourselves. So I'm going to sign off right now and I do want to give a shout out for that Canon Selfie CP900. I do like the printer actually. And I also like the fact that it is portable. You can bring it with you. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to shut it down. And I'm going to show you how easy it is actually to just take this one away. You just wiggle it a little bit. And when you store these, when you're not going to print out anything, be sure to store these in a dark place. And just take away the cord there and just fold that flap in there. Here is when you're going to put in your cartridge with the ink. So see, it isn't bigger than that, but the photo is going to go out both this way and that way. You saw that on the video or in the video. There's a regular cord there for the power and there is room here for a camera, a USB thingy there, and there's a, the other side, USB, and there's also a memory card, or, or both SD and MMC memory card there. So I think it's pretty nice. I have to recommend it. But now I have to store away these papers so they won't uh, bleach. Okay, so I'm going to sign off right now. Bye-bye.